Hey golfers, it's Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing. Who wants to hit the ball further? I know I always do. One way to hit the ball further is to increase your launch angle. So I'm going to provide three different ways today to increase the launch angle on your drives. The first way to increase the launch angle on your drives is by increasing your attack angle. We want to hit up on the ball a little bit more to get that ball to launch a little bit higher and fly a little bit higher off that club face. The second way today will be to increase the loft on the driver. I'm going to start out by hitting five shots with my nine degree driver, but after that I'm going to hit five more shots and I'm going to increase the loft on the driver and see what happens when I increase the loft on the driver. The final way is hit location. So where you catch it on the club face. This is a very, very important part to hitting the ball further. If we catch the ball a little bit too low on the club face, what's going to happen is the ball is going to launch a little bit lower and generally spin a little bit more. If we are able to move that hit location up further on the club face, possibly by increasing the T height, a lot of times I'll say in videos, T it high and let it fly. Well, there's a theory out there. If we increase the hit location further up the club face, what's going to happen is the ball will also launch higher as well. So these are three great ways to get the golf ball to launch higher off the club face and hit the ball further. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit 20 shots, five shots with the standard golf swing, five shots hitting up on the ball more, five shots by increasing the loft on the driver, and five shots by trying to hit the ball higher on the club face. I'm excited to take a look at the numbers and see what it tells us. Before I hit these shots, I do ask if you could subscribe to our channel today. Hit that subscription button down the bottom there. Give us a thumbs up to today's video. We'd really appreciate it. We've got some great content coming your way in the future. Let's get after it. Okay, the next change I've made is I've increased the loft on this driver from the stated loft of nine degrees to plus two, so it's now gonna play at 11 degrees of loft. So far, I have hit 15 shots. So finally, I want to test hit location. So I just want to touch on the hit location really quickly and show where I was hitting the first 15 shots without adjusting the T height. So if we look, I'm just going to click on a few of these shots. Most of them are slightly on the toe side, slightly below center, pretty close to middle, but a couple below center. Slightly on the toe, that one was right in the middle. Slightly low. So in general, all these hit locations were just slightly low of center. So the final test we are going to do is going to be hit, getting a higher hit location. So the final test I'm going to do here is to increase my hit location. As I just showed up on the screen, my hit location was just a little bit on the low side with the driver. If you're going to miss hit a driver, you want to have it slightly high in the face or slightly high toe. We don't want to be down the bottom of the club head as I was showing where I was hitting it. So I'm going to play around and see what happens if I increase the height on the hit location and see what happens to my launch angle that way too. So I'm increasing the T height here and the driver is back to the nine degree setting as well. That first one there definitely felt like it was high on the face. Seemed like it was too high, but let's just see where that was on the club face. 
So that lash, that first shot with the T height, notice it was quite a bit higher. My efficiency number went down. It was only 1.44, but the carry distance still stayed up there because I had a high launch and low spin. So that was definitely a great start. Set four more. And I don't want to hit it quite that high, so I'm going to lower my T height just a little bit. Just want to see where that one was. Just a little bit high of middle. That was it pretty well. I'm going to bet that one was a little bit high on the face as well. Perfect. Those were 20 shots that I hit. I changed my attack angle. I changed my hit location. And I changed the loft on the driver. Now let's take a look at the numbers and see what it tells us. Let's take a look at the numbers and see what we can find out. So first, my club speed ranged from 109 to 112. What's really interesting to me is the increased attack angle club speed was the highest. So when I put that ball position further up in my stance and tried to hit up on the ball a little bit more, I was even more efficient with my club speed. So that's definitely a great takeaway right off the bat. Move that ball position a little further forward if you need to hit up on the ball a little bit more. You may even generate some more club speed as well. Ball speed. Also, increased attack angle was the highest by about five miles an hour compared to the other three options. Higher hit location, increasing the loft to 11 degrees from 9 degrees, and playing with the 9 degree setting, all were around about 164 miles an hour. But you'll notice the attack angle, I increased my ball speed by 5 miles an hour. Yes, my Increased attack angle helped to increase club speed as well, but the ball speed also was pushing 170, and that's something I usually struggle to get to. It was also pushing 170, and also it was the highest consistency, only plus or minus 0 0.5 degrees. So something to be taken away right off the bat is by trying to hit up on the ball, having a higher attack angle, you may be able to pick up some club speed, ball speed, and efficiency. If we take a look at that efficiency number, interesting. Higher hit location had the lowest smash factor. So when I hit it too high on the face, my efficiency number dropped. On average, 148. All the other three were right at 150. But you'll notice the efficiency dropped when I didn't hit it quite in the middle of the face. But these clubs are designed, if you catch it a little bit higher on the face, where that spin rate is going to stay down. So we look at the next column, the spin rate with the higher hit location. 2388, very, very good spin. When I was, had my driver set at 9 degrees, it was about 2100 on average. Good spin also. I mean, all these numbers were great spin numbers. When I had that driver increased by 2 degrees aloft, my spin went up about 600 RPMs from 2100 to just a little over 2600, so about 500 RPM difference. So really interesting there, increasing loft would also increase spin. It's also exactly what I would expect. Notice that happening in a lot of fittings all the time as well. Launch angle. So this is our focus today is, is definitely on launch angle and what happens to launch angle if I make some changes. So when I set up for a neutral shot with an attack angle of 0 0.4, so I was basically very, very neutral with my attack angle. My launch angle was right around 10 degrees, so 9.8 on average. If we take a look here and see what happened when I increased my attack angle, my attack angle went up about 5 degrees, and my launch angle went up 4 degrees. So pretty close correlation between attack angle and launch angle. If you increase your attack angle, you're going to increase your launch angle. Just simple math, you're adding dynamic loft to the club at impact. So if we look at the dynamic loft, 11.1 .1 with the 9 degree setting, increased attack angle was 15.2. So my dynamic loft increased by 4 degrees by hitting up on the ball about 4 to 5 degrees. If we look at the higher hit location, that had the highest launch angle, so 17.4. That was with a 9 degree driver setting as well. 
So 17.4 by catching it very high on the face. And then 11 degrees. So if we look at here, change from 9 degrees to 11 degrees, change my launch angle by about 2.7 degrees higher. So I would also expect the launch angle to increase if I increase the amount of loft on a club. So I went from 9 to 11, went up a little bit over 2 degrees. Kind of numbers I would also expect there as well. The dynamic loft also went up as well. Attack angle changes from neutral to 5 degrees when I was hitting up on it. When I had it at 11 degrees, I was hitting up on it a couple of degrees. So pretty close numbers there. Interesting, when I increased that T height and I tried to get it higher on the, on the face, my attack angle also went up as well. Now this comes down to the fact is, if I have that T too, too high, I'm going to sky it. If I do not hit up on that ball, I am definitely going to sky it. If I come down with a steep attack angle when I tee that ball up, we'll learn pretty quickly to hit up on the ball because otherwise you just keep skying it every single time. So those adjustments were huge. Um, I want to touch on carry distance. So from increasing the loft from 9 degrees to 11 degrees, I increased my carry distance by 10 yards. 271 to 281. What's interesting to note is because the ball spun a bit more is it didn't quite tumble out as far. 9 degree setting, 306 total. 11 degree setting, 303 to 304 total. So about two yards shorter, even though it carried 10 yards further. So if the softer conditions, it's good. But if it's a little bit firmer out, what will happen is the ball won't go quite as far. When I increased my attack angle, I picked up 24 yards of carry distance. So I was carrying at 295. My spin rate also stayed down, so the ball tumbled out to 316. So I picked up 10 yards total distance, but picked up 20 yards carry distance by increasing my attack angle. And then the higher hit location. So higher hit location went from standard right in the middle for 271 to 290. So by catching it higher in the face, I also got a lot more distance as well. So really interesting numbers to kind of take a look at in comparing what happens when you increase your attack angle, when you increase the loft on your driver, or if you catch it higher on the club face. I do want to just show really quickly the dispersion pattern as well. So if we look at the screen on the right here now, I've expanded it to the full screen. You can see increased attack angle clearly was carrying the furthest. 11 degrees was kind of right in the middle. 9 degree setting was the shortest in carry distance. And the higher hit location was kind of right in the middle there as well. I switch it to total distance now. There's a little bit more, the, the, the circle is a little bit closer together. But what I do notice is when I increase that attack angle is I was able to draw the ball a little bit more as well. So if we look at the yellow circle, I was able to get that ball to turn over a little bit more there as well. If we look at the curve on the ball, when I increase my attack angle and also when I had more loft on the club, I was able to draw the ball a little bit more right to left. When I had 9 degrees aloft at a little bit less curve to the left there as well. And then the height difference, big, big difference. I was only hitting at 76 feet in the air with the 9 degree driver. When I increased my attack angle, I was hitting it 50 feet higher and increased the loft, was hitting it about 40 feet higher. And then a higher hit location, much higher ball flight, 152 feet in the air. So that's a massive, massive change when you catch the ball higher on the face. And I just want to show you where I was catching it on the face when I was hitting these five shots. So the last shot I hit, that was shot 19, shot 18, shot 17, and shot 16. So they were all higher on the face. When I had my original settings, shot one, a little bit lower, two a little bit lower as you can see just a little bit lower on the face as well so a bit of changes with regards to hit location there too so this is really interesting data and numbers to look at i hope this helps you whether you need to increase the loft on your driver where you need to maybe 
make a change to your attack angle, to your setup, or maybe you need to pay attention to where you catch it on the club face. These are great ways to increase your launch angle and also ultimately hit the ball further as well. Thanks for watching. Bye.